GW Basic. GW Basic is a dialect of the basic programming language developed by Microsoft from Basica, originally for Compact. It is otherwise identical to Microsoft IBM Basica, but is a fully self-contained executable and does not need the ROM Basic. It was bundled with MS-DOS operating systems on IBM PC compatibles by Microsoft. Microsoft also sold a Basic compiler, Bascom, compatible with GW Basic for programs needing more speed. The language is suitable for simple games, business programs and the like. Since it was included with most versions of MS-DOS, it was also a low-cost way for many aspiring programmers to learn the fundamentals of computer programming. With the release of MS-DOS 5.0, GW Basic's place was eventually taken by BASIC, the interpreter part of the separately available Quick Basic compiler. IBM Basica and GW Basic were largely ports of Basic version 5.x but with added features specifically for the IBM PC hardware. Common features of Basic 85.x and Basica slash GW Basic include the ability to crunch program lines by emitting spaces, a common feature of earlier Microsoft Basic implementations, was removed from Basic 85.x and Basica slash Basic. Basic 80 programs not using peak slash poke statements would run under GW Basic. Basic added a large number of features for the IBM PC such as sound, graphics, and memory commands. A few other features not present in Basic 80 included the ability to execute the R&D function with no parameters and the ability to also save programs in a protected format which prevented them from being listed. Basic also allowed double precision numbers to be used with mathematical and trigonometric functions such as CAS, SIN, and ATN which wasn't allowed in 8-bit versions of BASIC this feature was normally not enabled and required the optional parameter slash D at startup, E. BASIC slash D. BASIC's memory footprint was slightly increased if it was used. Microsoft did not offer a generic version of MS-DOS until V3.20 in 1986, before then, all variants of the OS were OEM ones. Depending on the OEM, BASIC was distributed as either BASICA.exe or BASIC.exe. The former should not be confused with IBM Basica, which always came as a com file. Some variants of Basic had extra features to support a particular machine, for example, the AT&T and Tandy versions of DOS included a special GW Basic that supported their enhanced sound and graphics capabilities. The initial version of GW Basic was the one included with Compact DOS 1.13, released with a Compact Portable in 1983 and was analogous to IBM Basica 1.10. It used the CP-M derived file control blocks for disk access and did not support subdirectories. Later versions added this feature and improved graphics and other capabilities. GW Basic 3.20, 1986, added AGA graphics support, no version of Basica or GW Basic had VGA support, and was in effect the last new version released before it was superseded by Basic. Buyers of Hercules graphics cards received a special version of GW Basic on the card's utility disk that was called Basic and which added support for its 720x348 monochrome graphics. Other versions of Basic slash GW Basic did not support Hercules graphics and could only display graphics on that card through the use of third-party CGA emulation, such as Simca. GW Basic has a command line-based integrated development environment, IDE, based on Dartmouth Basic. Using the cursor movement keys, any line displayed on screen can be edited. It also includes function key shortcuts at the bottom of the screen. Like other early microcomputer versions of BASIC, GW BASIC lacked many of the structures needed for structured programming such as local variables, and GW BASIC programs executed relatively slowly, because it was an interpreted programming language. All program lines must be numbered. All non-numbered lines are considered to be commands in direct mode to be executed immediately. Program source files are normally saved in binary compressed format with tokens replacing commands, with an option to save in ASCII text form. The GW Basic command line environment has commands to code ESA underscore 1 the current program, or quit to the operating code ESA underscore 2, these commands can also be used as program statements. There is little support for structured programming in GW Basic. All Cody say underscore three conditional statements must be written on one line, although Cody say underscore four statements may group multiple lines. Functions can only be defined using the single line Cody say underscore five statement, for example, Cody say underscore six. 
The data type of variables can be specified with a character at the end of the variable name. Cody say underscore 7 is a string of characters, Cody say underscore 8 is an integer, etc. Groups of variables can also be set to default types based on the initial letter of their name by use of the Cody say underscore 9, etc. statements. The default type for undeclared variables not identified by such typing statements is single precision floating point, 32 bit MBF. GW Basic allowed use of joystick and light pen input devices. GW Basic can read from and write to files and COM ports. It can also do event trapping for ports. Since the cassette port interface of the original IBM PC was never implemented on compatibles, cassette operations are not supported. GW Basic can play simple music using the Kodi say underscore 10 statement, needing a string of notes represented in a music macro language, for example Kodi say underscore 11. More low-level control is possible with the Kodi say underscore 12 statement, which takes the arguments of a frequency in hertz and a length in clock ticks for the standard internal PC speaker and IBM machines. Consequently, sound is limited to single-channel beeps and whistles as befits a business machine. Home-based PCs such as the Dandy 1000 allowed up to three channels of sound for the Kodi say underscore 12 and Kodi say underscore 10 commands. There are several theories on what the initials GW stand for. Greg Whitten, an early Microsoft employee who developed the standards in the company's basic compiler line, says Bill Gates picked the name GW Basic. Whitten refers to it as GWiz Basic and is unsure if Gates named the program after him. The Microsoft User Manual from Microsoft Press also refers to it by this name. It may have also been nicknamed GWiz because it had a large number of graphics commands. Other common theories as to the initials origins include graphics and Windows, Gates, William. Microsoft's president at the time, or Gates Witten, the two main designers of the program. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.